Hi, and welcome to my studio. This is Jim from Sketching with Jim, and uh, I'm glad you could come along with me today for this uh, sketch. I've chosen today a still life from uh, a photograph taken at the Foxfire Museum in Georgia when we were there visiting a few weeks ago. Unfortunately, uh, it was really dark inside of the building, uh, so I couldn't actually draw on site. But um, this is the next best thing, having taken a, a photograph and uh, now in the comfort of my studio I can uh, do a small sketch. I kind of like how this one came out. Simple, but uh, because uh, of the apples in the, in the bowl as the main uh, kind of subject, and because they were um, brighter than the rest of the room. That kind of worked for me. I decided to do this over the two pages of my uh, small sketchbook, which is only a four by six inch uh, sketchbook of multimedia paper. I'm using my uh, Pilot Fountain Pen for this sketch with the carbon black ink. And I always put the list of materials I've, I've used uh, at the end of the video. I'm holding uh, it midway toward, and sometimes toward the end of the pen. It's a very short pen, but this position gives me a very light uh, touch so I can skim the surface of the, the paper easily and still uh, maintain all the control I want. It allows me to um, give it kind of a sketchy not so rigid look. And when I'm doing hatching, like I said, uh, I can skim across the surface of the paper giving a very light line. This style of sketching kind of uh, suits uh, my style at this point because my my lines aren't perfectly uh, perfectly straight. There's a little bit of a wiggle to them all the time, and when I'm not um, naturally shaking a little bit. Um, I do consciously put uh, a little wiggle here and there in the lines, keeping it, uh, keeping it to that sketchy style that suits this kind of drawing. And the sparse kind of uh, a sketch that I'm doing kind of suits the subject as well. It was a simpler um, time as, as far as materials um, and uh, interiors of, of houses and buildings go. A lot of uh, the furniture, tables, chairs, everything was made by hand. from woods that they gather on, gathered on their land. So it gives it, um, I think this kind of sketching gives it kind of that authentic, simple look.
they did have a, a couple of light bulbs hanging from uh, the ceiling in certain areas of the the room so hence the uh, the lighting so I've used that to give shadow to the uh, the bowl and some of the furniture One thing I did notice after I had completed the video, you've, I know you've heard me say that before, when I'm actually editing the video and looking at it closer, I notice things I've missed or, or uh, done not quite right. And one thing I missed on this particular time is the, uh, the far leg of the table and the way the end of the table was actually built. When I looked at the photograph, my eyes told me that uh, the leg was right at the end, in the in the um, in the leg that's closest to us on the table. Whereas there's quite an overlap. So the leg on the other side, you can barely see. So I missed it completely. You'll see in the end photograph that I did add a leg on to kind of match, try to match the one in the front. It looks okay, but not, not the way it was for sure. But despite that error, I really liked how this uh, little sketch came out, so I wanted to uh, Posted. And there have been drawings I've done um, that I that I do when I go through the editing process and everything, and then I decide not to not to post it because it's it didn't come out. I was there was something that bothered me about it, or it wasn't uh, quite right. So a lot of times it's a personal choice to. Uh, to not show a video. Here I am um, making sure those shadows are, are in on the left side of, of everything, the bowl, the fruit. There's some dark, really dark spots in that uh, pile of uh, apples and and uh, I think they're pine cones or what, something, it's like a display. So I made sure I got those nice darks in there with the ink. Add a few dots here and there just to give, uh, give the impression that those are stones. And in the photograph, as you can see, they've got, uh, I think, some kind of a metal frame around the fireplace uh, for um, when they built it or rebuilt it um, for sturdiness, I suppose, for construction uh, purposes. So I left that out, uh, knowing that uh, that probably wasn't the way that uh, it was originally built. The first part of the video, um, again, I, I moved to, I, I changed to two times speed to make the video um, a manageable length. But now with the painting, I've changed it back to real time to, to give you a better idea of how, um, how I apply the paint. I'm keeping the paint into a mid minimum, trying to keep it simple as per the subject. And not trying to add too much paint. 
leaving some white spots here and there just to give it that kind of a sketchy, um, um, interesting look. And adding a few different uh, colors in there instead of just straight black where the fireplace is. What I use uh, mainly for um, a lot of the paint is, is um, burnt sienna. And if I want it darker, I just add uh, French ultramarine to it. And again, trying to be always aware where the light's coming from so I can put the darker colors on the correct side of the objects. I like to go to museums, pioneer museums, because, I don't know, it's just a, it gives you a glimpse into a simpler time, by no means easier time. It wasn't the good old days, but it was a simpler time when values were, were usually a, a lot simpler and there were fewer distractions. I'm making sure that though uh, the fruit and the and the pine cones and the bowl have uh, good some good contrast, so they kind of pop out from the page, showing that they are kind of the center of interest. where the most contrast is, is, is where your, your eye will go to. And of course there's the difference in color too, the bright reds kind of attract your attention. Anyway, thank you for watching and uh, welcome back and I hope to see you again.